In this Excel video, I will show you three great Excel tools that you can add to the Excel quick access bar today that will totally speed up your workflow. And these tools are not normally on the quick access toolbar. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in Excel and you can see my quick access toolbar here across the top. And I've already added some good tools to this quick access toolbar. Please watch my other videos on the quick access toolbar to get a full understanding of what this is. But for now, I'm just going to click here on the customize quick access toolbar button to add my recommended tool number one, which is remove duplicates. Now to get to remove duplicates, I need to go here to where it says more commands. And it takes me here to a list of popular commands that I can add to the quick access toolbar. But if I click on popular commands, I can change to all commands and then I can browse down and look for, in this case, remove duplicates. And there it is. And so now I can click on it and click add and it's added to my quick access toolbar. If I leave it as is, it will show up at the very end of the quick access toolbar. I could move it up a bit, but for now I'm just gonna leave it as the last button in the quick access toolbar. I click okay. So now I can just click and drag to select a range of data and then go up here and just click the remove duplicates button that's now on my quick access toolbar. And I get this pop up. I can then make sure that my data has headers is checked because my data does have headers. And then I'll just click select all click OK and two duplicate values were found and removed. I click OK. Notice that before Alice was listed twice, so was Bob. All of their data was identical. These are the same people, but for some reason their information was listed twice. And so thanks to my new remove duplicates button on the quick access toolbar, I can just very easily and quickly get rid of those duplicates. Okay, let's look at a second tool you should consider adding to the quick access toolbar to save you time. And that is paste values. As you might already know, in Excel, if you click on a cell and press Control C to copy and then click and Control V to paste, you're pasting not only the text or the numbers in the cell, but also the formatting in the cell. So I'm going to undo that with Control Z and let's add the paste values button to the quick access toolbar. So I'm going to go here, click, click on more commands. It brings up my list. I can switch to all commands and then I'll look for paste values. It's alphabetical, luckily, so that makes it a lot easier. And this time I don't see paste values. So instead, I'm going to go with just paste. And if I put my mouse here on paste, you can see there's three different pastes. But if I go with the third one, this is home tab, clipboard, paste menu. So if I select that and click add, it's added to the quick access toolbar. I'll click OK. So now if I copy C1, control C to copy, I click here on D1. I'm ready to paste it. All I have to do is go here and click this drop down arrow and I have easy access to paste values. So now it just pasted the values, the text or the numbers inside cell C1 without pasting the colors, the bold, the font type, etc. Now you may already know that those same options are available here on the home tab in the clipboard group. If I copy, I can click here on paste and choose paste values. But the point of the quick access toolbar is for you to collect the most important and most commonly used tools for you. And you collect them here on the quick access toolbar so that it doesn't matter Matter what tab or ribbon you're looking at, you don't have to switch in this case back to the home tab to get paste special and paste values. Regardless of what tab you're on, you can just go up here, click to paste, or you can click here to paste values or paste formulas. All of these different options are available to you. Okay, the third tool I'm going to focus on that you could add to your quick access toolbar is speak cells. So I'll just click here, go down and click more commands. I'm going to switch to all commands and then browse down looking for speak cells. There it is. I'll add it to the quick access toolbar. Click OK. And so now I can click on a cell or a range of cells and then click that button. Alice 88 8.8 Bob, 92, 9.2. And Excel will start to read the data to me. If I click a range of cells and click the speak cells button. Alice, Bob, Charlie, Eve, Frank, Grace, Heidi, Yvonne. Then that range is read in order. If you just click on one part of the spreadsheet, let's say one cell, like Charlie, and click the speak cells button. Charlie, 85, 8.5. 
The next cell will start with the cell you've selected and then just go from left to right, top to bottom order, and read the cells to you. So these are just three of the great tools that you can add to your Quick Access Toolbar. Once again, if you haven't already watched my other videos on the Quick Access Toolbar, you're really going to want to do that. There are some amazing tools out there that you need to know about, and I highly recommend that you take the time to become familiar with the Quick Access Toolbar and all that it's capable of. In the meantime, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for what you do to support the channel.